Hi guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a flip through of the Paper Lovers book. Now this is the Kiki K Paper Lovers book. You guys often ask me how to spell that. I will also have the links in the description box below so you can check that out if you want to purchase it. Now in the last video I mentioned that I'm going to be doing lots of reviews leading up to Christmas and I'm also going to have a Christmas gift guide coming out soon for you guys if you want to purchase um, products that are like purchase gifts around Christmas that are for paper lovers. So this is actually one of my favorite paper lovers books the Kiki K ones um, so I can't wait to open it. I have haven't looked inside yet so I'm really excited so let's get started. When I saw this book in the store I was so excited to purchase it because of all these cute little woodland characters. None of the videos I make from Kiki K are sponsored, I purchased these myself. <gasps> Look how gorgeous this paper is! There's like little blueberries, some bees, oh this is so lovely, even little teacups and these little bunnies and they've put quotes on the other side. Lovely, I can use those quotes for designing. Oh, this is so cute. So these are patterned paper. So usually I would wrap gifts with these or just collage really, you can use them for collaging. This is so sweet, the little teacups and teapot. Everything can wait. So it's writing paper, so there's lines on these ones, which I love lines. I usually can't use these ones a lot because my handwriting is so bad. But this is like that other pattern, but the darker version of it with little teacups. All oh, these little bunnies, <laughs> they're so cute. Where ideas bloom. I'm really liking these little floral designs as well. This might have to be my favorite one so far. So they always include little envelopes. And I like to include goodies in these little envelopes. So I'll, I'll put stickers for my pen pals in there. And they've got the gorgeous pattern on the back as well. So I guess you could use both sides for these. They've also got instructions. This one turns into a rectangle one. And it's upside down. Oh no, just those two because you'd flip it over. And then we've got some little cards. So this is, oh they're postcards. How lovely. They've even got the little design on the back so you can write to it and send it. Happy birthday and thank you cards. And then I adore these little ones. They're this big, so when you fold them in half, they end up being so tiny. No rain, no flowers. Now, when I turned my camera on this morning, um, <laughs> construction outside started like making the loudest noises. So I wasn't gonna film this video today. Oh, these stickers. Um, so I apologize if you hear lots of background noise. I don't know about these darker ones. I usually like a lot of pastel colours, but they would be sweet on like gifts and things. Oh, and then there's a beautiful quote on this side as well. Eckhart Tolle. If you see an opportunity for joy, take it. And then tags. So it's pretty much the same design the whole way through this book. They usually split halfway through, so we'll see if they do that. This is a little gift box, so you'd pop this one out. Another little gift box. And then a paper bow. What are these? Oh, bookmarks. So you'd fold them over so this little picture would stick out the top. That's lovely. Paper tassels. I never usually make the paper tassels and the boxes and things. They're usually the last ones that I keep. I love these ones so much. So these are sticker sheets and you'd peel them off and you can stick them onto things and I often put them on the front of my envelopes. Stickers, these are little individual ones. And at the end of this video I am going to be making a snail mail package. So stick around to the end if you want to see me make something out of this book. A strawberry treat box, oh that's interesting. We've got a little gift box, some bookmarks. What are these? Oh, this is just more patterned paper. So we're going back to patterned paper now. That's sweet. Oh, look at those colors. This one feels quite autumn-y, autumnal. 
again, we've got another one of these patterns, pattern papers. Cute. <laughs> Be kind. So they didn't change halfway through. They usually, halfway through the book, they would change their patterns, but they've just repeated it this time. And put more writing paper, pattern paper and envelopes. So these are the gift tags. We've got the big round ones and then the medium sized ones here. And then these cute longer ones at the side. So again, cards, you'll just fold it in half here. You're so sweet and hip hop hooray. <laughs> so what does this say? So some more quotes. Um, I don't know what I usually do with these. Sometimes I just gift them because they're just beautiful quote cards. So that's a fan apparently. Part one and part two. I think we've already had these gift boxes. Here we go. So some alphabet stickers. I don't really know if I like the blacks in here, but the pinks and blues are very beautiful. Some round stickers again. Oh, these are different. So these ones like a, are shaped like kind of like die cuts. Oh, that's lovely. Nature does not hurry, yet everything is accomplished. <laughs> I need to take that into my life. Party time. Oh, some more postcards. I love that they've included so many postcards in this one. And then at the, bent, at the back, they always have the wrapping paper. I really, really like this one. Yay! All right, let's get started on our snail mail now. Today, I'm also going to include my new sticker set. So this is my new sticker collection, I should say. Um, and these are all the designs that I've got for November. They will be released hopefully within the next couple of days. Or even once this video is uploaded, it might already be released. So these die cut stickers are the ones that I gift to my patrons over on Patreon. So thank you to all my patrons who help support me and allow me to continue making videos for this channel. Um, so these are the cute little ones that I've got this month. And then my sticker sheet. So I design these stickers and then I've got an illustrator who illustrates them. So I'll have links below to my shop um, and the, I'll also be gifting these in a lot of my mystery packages as well. So we'll be using my sticker collection and the Kiki K Paper Lovers book to create some beautiful stationery, I mean some snail mail um, letters today. So I'm gonna get started. I think I'm gonna do the envelope first and then I'm gonna make some sort of pocket letter or maybe even a little flip book with this cardboard.
So I was going to play music for the rest of this video, but I decided to do a voiceover instead. I stopped doing voiceovers because I didn't know if you guys were actually interested in hearing life updates. I've been doing lots of talking over on my Patreon, giving them life updates, and I just wanted to say thank you to all my patrons over on Patreon. It is a massive support to my life financially. Um, everyone supporting me over there. And just so you know, on Patreon, we have... Um, Zoom catch-ups monthly. We also have um, for the challenges and swaps tiers, new swaps each month and newsletters. I also try to create a video every month, so a bonus video for just Patreon viewers. Um, and what else do we do? Sometimes I do some art challenges and um, a giveaway every now and then. I've only done one so far, so I might do one leading up to Christmas maybe. I'm thinking of putting something together. I also want to do some Christmas card making over on Patreon. When we met up for our Zoom chat this week, we're actually going to do some crafting together, which will be really fun. So I'm still figuring out what, what kind of crafts we'll be doing. Now, leading up to Christmas, I've got lots of Christmas videos planned. So... I'm going to be doing 24 days of Christmas video, like a snail mail package. So basically, it's going to be the reply to Christian Lee, who I said I would do a 24 days reply. And what it will be is she'll open up the box and then they'll be numbered 1 to 24 on little packages. So I'll be creating little packages, putting them all in a parcel and sending them out is how that will video will go. So I'm thinking of creating that one this week. So then anyone who wants to um, craft alongside me or get ideas from that video, they'll have it well before the first day of Christmas because I know people might be sending things internationally. So I just took that in consideration. Um, I also want to do some Christmas card tutorials here on YouTube um, and then I also want to see if I can make another advent calendar throughout November but it depends how busy I get um, and then as I mentioned before I would re really love to do a paper lovers gift guide um, leading up before the like before the 1st of December but that video might have to be around December anyway so if you guys have any other Christmas videos you would like me to make, please let me know in the comments below. I'm always open for suggestions. And um, if you guys wanted to know what's happening in my life at the moment, not much has happened since I've given you a life update from the last time I did a voiceover. Um, I moved to Brisbane, must be around three months now, um, three, four months now because... We've already had our inspection. So, yeah, I've just really been studying and um, exploring Queensland, really. The borders have been closed between Queensland and New South Wales. So um, I haven't been able to go down and visit my friends back in Sydney. But hopefully um, that will open up soon. We haven't had too many cases in Australia. Melbourne has suffered the most um, out of all the states here in Australia, but Queensland, we've been free of COVID for a while now. I don't think we've had any new cases for a very long time. Our borders have been shut for a while, so we don't really have many restrictions anymore. So um, you don't, it's not required to wear a mask and you just need to sign in to go into places to eat or shop. Oh, actually, you don't have to sign in to go into any shops only to eat so restaurants and pubs and things like that will have the qr code that you scan and then you can go in um but yeah shops you can just go in and out and there's no restrictions other than the amount of people that can be in a shop at a time so for the post office for example there's only allowed i think six people and there's always a line out the back of the post office because they're only allowed six people inside so things like that there's a few restrictions, but not a whole lot compared to other countries that I've heard of. And a lot of other countries are getting the second wave of COVID, which is really sad to hear. And there's been a lot of disasters I've um, been watching on the news around the world. So I feel very grateful and lucky to be an Australian. And I'm always thinking of all the other people out there who um, have it a lot, lot worse than what we have it. So I have nothing to complain about, really. Um, 
living in such a beautiful country and this place on earth in like Queensland I live in such a beautiful area so I'm very very grateful for that um, yeah other than that like I was saying I've just been studying a lot so I've been doing my art therapy course and if you'd be interested in seeing what I've been doing throughout that course I've just recently made a vlog I think I called it university vlog day in a life and I showed you a little excursion we went on and some art materials that we've been practicing with so basically what we've been learning is how art can be used as therapy so we've been in groups and pairs and um, we've been doing practices on each other so one of us will be the therapist and one of us will be the client and we'll be doing scenarios some will be coming with a real issue and then we'll be going through the therapy lesson and seeing the effects of how art can play in their life and it's been so interesting and and just fascinating to see how art can be used as therapy. Um, so I'm hoping to complete my diploma mid next year and then I might start working again. So I might have to put YouTube on the back burner throughout that period because um, I don't know what life will be like once I start working. I don't know if I can do YouTube and <laughs> work at the same time because I'll most likely go back to... Um, five days a week which I'm hoping because then um, I won't have any government support financially because I won't be studying anymore so yeah a lot of things are going to be happening next year so I'll be definitely updating you throughout that period but for the end of this year it's just leading up to Christmas I'm going to be making lots of Christmas videos and um, and yeah and then I'll hopefully do some January like planning maybe I don't know what do you guys want to see around January I haven't really thought too far ahead yet I know that I want to do lots of festive ideas because I feel like at this time a lot of people want to be um festive and thinking of all the things that they can celebrate it's nice to think of a cel like that there's going to be something to celebrate soon with all the disasters and things that have happened this year so I know like Netflix how they came out with all their Christmas shows around October it kind of made people feel a bit more happy and optimistic about next year so I really do hope 2021 is a good year for everyone it would be nice to see it um, yes see it as a good year so that is yeah everything that I wanted to have a chat with you guys about just let me know what Christmas videos you want me to create um, and yeah I'm looking forward to posting all of those videos I just mentioned before and then what kind of videos you want me to post around the new year if you've got any ideas um, for new things to look forward to or maybe even journaling ideas and I'm also reviewing all of the different videos that I've been creating throughout the year so the main videos that I create for you guys are things like snail mail videos PO box opening videos um, what else do I do lots of stationary unboxing and things like that so if there's anything you want me to bring back that I used to do or anything that you want me to include also let me know I love hearing your ideas um, and yeah the video today um, this snail mail that I created I know a lot of you guys asked me how like how I send it like if I because I've already sealed it up before sending it so I will undo the seal I just wanted you guys to see what a finished look would look like but I haven't actually finished this letter I'm probably going to add in like a little mail tag maybe even a playlist depending who I'm writing to I'm going to write the letter out I just like to give a bit of a an idea of what you can do with the products that I use so um, yeah this video today isn't a finished letter I will just undo the seal that I put on top and then I will put all the written bits and pieces in. So anything that's personal, I'll put in after. And then I might add things that are personal to that person in regards to little stationary goodies. So if someone said they liked cat um, stationary letter sets or whatever it is, I'll then make it a lot more personalized. So these are just giving you general ideas of how to make a little um, folder. So this is just 
a bit of cardboard and then I folded in threes and then decorated it. So it's just to give you guys some new ideas and ways that you can use this um, Kiki K Paper Lovers book if you do purchase one or if you've got the flow book. Like these are just ideas of what you could send to your pen pals. So I'm definitely going to then go back and write the letter and include all the extras um, as well. So yeah, this isn't a completed letter. Um, I'll be working on it a lot more. I hope you enjoyed this video today and you got some good ideas and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.